So Windows 10 gives you quick access to recently opened files and folders using that quick access in File Explorer, but sometimes you want to clear that history. Stay tuned to see how. Hey everybody, Mike with IT Pro TV here, and today I'm going to show you how to clear that quick access history in Windows 10. Now before we get started, I want to make sure you click on that subscribe link down below and click on that little bell icon so you can get notified of any of our new and upcoming videos. All right, so you're on Windows 10 and, and you know, it's really nice. You open up File Explorer and you have this what's called quick access area and it shows you folders that you've recently used. It shows you files that you've recently opened and you can even pin folders there uh, that you use quite often. Kind of keeps them right up at the top. I actually really like this feature. I use it quite a bit. But there are times when I want to clear that history. Maybe it's just gotten cluttered with stuff that I really haven't used in a long time, or I opened up a bunch of stuff that I rarely use, but now because it was the most recent thing, it's kind of filled up the top of that list. So I just want to clear it and start all over. All right. I'm going to show you how to do that, as well as how you can kind of rearrange that quick access. Uh, some of you might not like what it shows. Maybe you want to just show folders and not files, or vice versa. Uh, or maybe you don't want to start on quick access at all. I'm going to take care of all that right now. And I'm on my Windows 10 laptop, and I'm going to open up File Explorer. And what you'll notice is by default, Windows actually starts off with quick displaying the quick access. I zoom in here. We're going to see a couple of areas. One is the frequent folders. The other is recent files. And this again is quick access. All right. So folders is where, you know, recently used or opened up folders are going to be. Obviously recent files, these are all the documents that I've worked with recently. And that's going to be very efficient and very helpful because I can find that file without having to figure out where I saved it. It's right here in this list. I can simply open it back up. But as we said at the beginning, there are going to be times when you want to clear this list. So let me show you how to do that. To clear the list, we're going to go to our View ribbon, and then way over here on the far right-hand side, we're going to open up our Options. Once you open up the Options, right there at the bottom of the first tab is going to be your Privacy. And you'll see I've got two check marks and a button there. That first check mark, Show Recently Used Files in Quick Access. Maybe you want to see Recently Used Folders, but not individual files, and it just makes it too busy. Well, you can simply uncheck that. Or maybe you don't want to see folders. You're really more concerned with recently used files. You can simply uncheck the one for used folders or you know, just select them both, whatever works for you. Now to clear the history, that quick access, you'll never guess what we're going to do. Oh yeah, you did guess, okay. Uh, the clear button right there is going to wipe that history out for us and we can start anew. All right, uh, so let's try it out. I'm going to click clear. And then I'll click OK so we can see it. And notice all of my files are gone from that list. And it kind of acts like I've never opened any files, right? After you've opened some files, we'll show you the most recent ones here. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, Mike, you said it would clear the folders as well, but it didn't. I still see four folders right across the top. And that's because not only does Quick Access show us the recently used files and folders, we can pin folders to this location as well. So if there's something I might not use that often, not often enough to make it show up on the quick access, but I really want it to be immediately accessible, like it was quick access, I can simply pin it to my quick access. These four folders are pinned, and that's why they didn't go away when I cleared that quick access. You'll notice right up here underneath quick access, there's the four folders, and right there at the end is that little pin icon. And that indicates that that folder is pinned there, and that when you clear your quick access, they won't go away. So how do you make them go away? Well, you simply right click on it and choose, where's my option here? Let me make sure I've selected that first. Right there, unpin from quick access. So if I don't use my downloads folder that often, I can simply right click on it, unpin from quick access, and notice it goes away. And so now when I see quick access, I only see the three folders that are left. What if I want to add my own folder? Just the, sa the same thing, right? I'm going to go find a folder. Let me go into Documents, and I've got a Scripts folder that I use quite a bit, uh, or that I need quick access to, but I don't use enough to get it on that list. I'm going to right-click on it, and I'm going to choose Pin to Quick Access right there. So I'll select that, and now we can see Scripts has that little pin icon, and it won't go away. Even if I don't use it for a while, 
and I clear my history, scripts will always be there. All right. Now, the last thing I want to show you about quick access is how you can change the default behavior of File Explorer. Because as I said, I'm going to close File Explorer and I'm going to open it again. By default, it starts out on quick access. Some of you might not like that, right? You might like having the quick access over here on the navigation tree and easy to get to, but you don't want it over here every time you open up File Explorer. We can change that too. If you go to your view menu and go back to the options that we were in before, this time, same tab, right on that general tab, but up at the top, you'll see Open File Explorer 2, and it says Quick Access. That is why Windows defaults to the Quick Access when you open up File Explorer. So if I change that to this PC, and that's my only other option, you get one or the other, right? Quick Access or uh, this PC. I'll click OK. I'll close, and now I'll Open File Explorer, Notice it starts out on this PC, and I can see my individual drives and my profile folders. Now, quick access is still there, right? I still have my scripts folder, for example, pinned over there, and I can still get that quick access to it, but it doesn't hit me in the face, right? It's not right there when I first start up File Explorer. So now you've got options of what you want to see when you open up File Explorer. So that's a look at how we can use quick access. We can pin and remove items from the quick access as well as clearing our quick access history. I hope you've enjoyed this one and stay tuned for more Windows 10 content coming your way.